Hello everyone, this is Lynette with Charm Grammy Crochet and today we're going to be making this blanket. Uh, it is Amanda's Patriotic Blanket and I'm just going to get started with out here with a list of what we're going to need. If you want to follow along with the written pattern, um, you'll need that and I will email it to you. Just uh, request, you know, send me an email to Charmed Grammy Crochet at gmail.com and it is there is no e in the word charmed it's c-h-a-r-m-d grammy g-r-a-m-m-y crochet c-h-r-o-c-h-e-t at gmail.com so what we're going to need besides the pattern unless you just go with the tutorial which is fine too i hope <laughs> um uh, we're going to be using worsted weight yarn i have this is from my stash, and this is Dreamweaver yarn, but it's um, pretty much the same as um, Red Heart Soft. They're very much the same yarns um, for worsted weight. So I'm using blue. Uh, in the original, I used navy, but in this I'm gonna use uh, royal, just because I think it'll be easier to see. And when we actually start doing the crochet, I will have a, a lighter cover, color on my tabletop. So um, we have blue for obviously the bobbles and the white stripes. We need white um, and red. Uh, my original, um, I used uh, Red Heart Super Saver. Uh, obviously, it's less than one skein of um, blue, but then I used two of the white and the red. Um, not completely two, but close to it. Uh, the pattern is written in three parts, the square in the middle, then the stripes, and you'll notice that the red stripes are all the same granny stitches. Um, Oh, let's start with the square is done back and forth row by row. Then we do the granny and the white, uh, so the stripe part goes in the round around the square. Um, so then we've got the granny stitches. Then we've got, these are just um, back post double crochet. This is pretty much similar to a granny here. Um, except we're going in every stitch and skip one to kind of follow the skip one in here back to the granny so that we still had the same skip one uh, again this is double crochet pretty much the same pattern but we added the ridge with the back post and then we came down here and did a, a basic kind of shell and then more ridging i wanted it to kind of give you the idea of a bunting um, I kind of like the idea of adding a row of blue to red, white, and then a row of blue. Um, Amanda's input was no blue, and this is a blanket I designed for her, so no blue. Um, you can make it in any color combinations that you like, obviously, and then you could continue with more rows if you wanted it to be bigger. This is, I think, about four foot square. Um, so that's the stitch pattern. Oh, you'll also be using, I'm using a my clover, um, because I really do like this clover. I have the flat clover too, and I don't like it as well. Um, and I have a inexpensive set uh, that I've been mostly giving to Amanda of these, you know, hooks with the ergonomic hooks with the grips. Um, and the clover are lighter in weight, but I do like the set, but I keep giving them to her when she needs a different size. Um, but anyway, I'm using the 6 millimeter Clover J. So it's a J if you're doing that. All of these terms will be in uh, U.S. crochet terms, so you'll have to do your own switching over if you're from the um, you know, U.K. We will be using a darning needle to weave in some ends and uh, a pair of scissors because we will be cutting. So to get started, that's the materials that you need. Um, and we'll continue on in just a moment. So to begin, starting with your blue yarn, um, or whatever color you're going to make your square with, we are going to do a slip knot and chain 
34. And I did not count. But you guys know how to chain through. You know how to chain, right? Just yarn over and pull through until you get 34. And I'm going to have to pause this and count because I did not count. I can't count and talk at the same time. Okay, well now we have 34 in our chain. I always, you don't need to, it doesn't really matter on this particular afghan because we'll be crocheting around it anyway in the end, but I always use the back loop. I don't know, it's hard to see in the blue yarn, I know, but um, this is your front where you see your Vs. Can you see the Vs? It's the problem with blue. Um, so you've got V stitches here and let me see if I can zoom it up a little. Oop. So you've got your V's on this side and you got your humps on this side. I'm gonna go back. Um, I always go into the back loops because it gives you a nice finished edge on the front side. So I'm gonna do that here because that's just the way I always do it. So we're gonna go into the third one, two, three, one two third hump from the hook and we're going to do a double crochet so uh, to do that you yarn over go into your hump yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over and do that again into the next one you're going to do a double crochet which is a little bit slow on this you know from the start on the chain it's always a slower process but we're going to um, do one double crochet in every stitch and don't worry if it's curling uh, mine always curls <laughs> uh, anyway one double crochet in every stitch across at the end you will have 33 double crochets in your blue yarn um, Amanda is with us today and she is sitting next to me at the table and diligently working on hers. Okay. Okay. So I have like a little loop now. Right. Oh. So this this will count. Your first double crochet will count as a double or your your chain three. Your chains that you went yeah. three, that'll count as your first double crochet. So that counts as one of your 33 oh, double crochets so, at the end. All right. So just go. I, I went one, two, three humps, one into that hump and double crochet. Now I'm gonna crochet every single hump, double crochet every single hump after that. Right, double, double crochet every single hump. If you're not doing the back hump, then you would just be crocheting into every stitch across the front. So you would be going into this side and crocheting in every stitch across the front. Um, Now I'm gonna pause this video. Oh, sure, lost my stitch. I'm gonna pause this video and get to the end and I'll meet you uh, when Amanda and I are both at the other end, unless she has a, good Lord, I can't even get this back in there. Uh, unless there's a problem, she comes up with a, a question, um, then we'll resume. Otherwise, I will see you when we both are at the end. Count your stitches, make sure you have 33 including the turning chain at the beginning. Okay, so now we've gotten to the end, including, as Amanda calls it, the little round one at the end, so your original part of your chain that we went three over from, you should have 34 or 33 stitches. I zoomed in a little, so I hope that makes it easier for you. Now, normally, most of the time, you would say chain three and turn. With this, I'm gonna do uh, what we what I call what I've heard called the alternative turning chain. So what we're going to do is chain one, turn your work, go into the first stitch right here. Oh, my fingers are anyway. So right under the very first V, make a single crochet. So put your you know yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through both loops on your hook. Now you have a single crochet, and we're gonna go into, let's see, it's dark, I hate this. Um, we're gonna go into this little stitch right 
here, this piece right here on the side. And we're going to do another single crochet. So you're going to put your hook in the end, yarn over, pull up a loop, and pull through both. This doing this is going to eliminate the gap. If you um, when you crochet and you just so this is what this looks like, and I'll just show you if we do it the the normal way, uh, the standard way. Chain three, one, two, three. Turn your work and do your double crochet here then you've got the extra stitch or you've already used this stitch because you single you do your chain takes up for that so then you go into the next stitch and then you got the gap I hate the gap so if you do my alternative turning chain so you do whatever is convenient you know you like but Oh, wait, let's see, I got my chain one in there. So chain one does not count as a stitch. You won't even see it. Turn your work, go into the very first stitch and do a single crochet. And then you go into the side of that stitch there, right there and do another single crochet. The stitch is a little wide, but it, you have no gap. And when you go through, you... You're good? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So then we are going to, uh, you got your alternative turning chain, and then we're going to double crochet in the next two chains, but we're not going to complete the second double crochet. So do your first double crochet, then in your second double crochet, you're going to insert your hook, pull up your loop, Pull through two and leave two on your hook because we're going to change color. So to do the bobble stitch, you're going to not complete your uh, third. And I will admit that when I originally videotaped this stitch, you couldn't see my hands. So this is a remake and I'm adding it in. So hopefully it'll work out okay. So you have your double crochet and you're going to have two loops on your hook. We're not going to finish the double crochet. Um, so you're, I guess I should really start here. You're going to yarn over, insert your hook, pull up your first loop and pull through two, leaving your two loops on the hook. Then you're going to grab your white yarn and you're going to drop the blue, grab the white and pull it through to finish your blue double crochet with your white yarn. Then we're going to crochet over all the blue and the tail of the white. And we're going to go into the next stitch and we're going to create a bobble. If you don't know how to do that, you insert your hook, um, well you yarn over, insert your hook, pull through two, two loops on your hook. Yarn over again, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, three loops on your hook. We're going to do that again. Yarn over, pull up a loop, Pull through two, uh, four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop. You want to give yourself like some, you know, yarn there. Don't be too tight. Um, so you pull up a loop, pull through two, five loops on your hook, and I need more yarn. We're going to do that one more time. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Pull, yarn over, pull through two. Now we have six loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through all six loops. That creates your bobble. Then we're going to do a single crochet in the next stitch. So we're going to insert our hook, pull up a loop. Now we have to go back to the blue yarn. So we're going to leave the white and we're going to finish our single crochet using the blue. <clears throat> excuse me and you can tighten just by pulling on your yarn if things are loose just like pull on your yarn tails then we're going to do go into our next double crochet so there will be three double crochet before we go into the next bobble um, and again on the third double crochet and I hope this doesn't repeat in the video but on the third double crochet 
you won't finish the crochet. You will leave two on your hook, drop your blue yarn, pick up your white yarn to finish and then crochet over again to make your, so make your bobble go into the next stitch. Uh, well, I'm sorry, yarn over first, crochet over everything. Where am I? Uh, next stitch right there, pull up your loop. And again, we're going to pull through two, yarn over, pull through, uh, yarn over again, pull through two, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two, yarn over again, pull up a loop, pull, yarn over, pull through two. And one more time, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two, six loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all six single crochet in the next stitch, pull up your loop, drop your white yarn, pick up your blue yarn, tighten everything by pulling on your tails, and then oh, lay that, lay down. Crochet over your ends, and you're carrying your white yarn through while you do, again, three more double crochets and again you won't finish the third double crochet and you're going to continue this all the way to the end you will have six bobble stitches when you count them at the end of the row um, count I count the bobble as two um, because you've got your double I mean you got your bobble and then you got your single but when you're like actually if you're counting the physical stitches it's you don't see that one so for an easy count I count that as two and then I know I'm counting that and the single and then three more bobbles I mean three more doubles and then two there and then three more so make sure that at the end of the your row you do have uh, six bobbles and a total of 33 stitches uh, and then I'll pick up the original video back here and we'll continue on the project. Here's where I'm at. Okay. So I've got, I just pulled through all six. Good. Now I'm going to go into the next stitch or change my color. Go into the next stitch, pull up your loop. Pull up. Now I've got two white on. Two Sorry. white on. Oh, okay. Can no, we gotcha. Two white on. Now go back to the blue, which is not even cut. Right, we're not cutting the blue. We're going. We're carrying the blue through. Looks like we keep okay. moving. <laughs> I'm, well, it's That's okay. tangled. It's tangled. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now I've got we'll two. Drop white the white. Drop pick, the white. Pick up the blue. Pick up the blue. And pull the blue through. And pull the blue through. Okay. So, so then I you hate, can just look at this. We'll just tug everything tight because you've got all the tails to tug everything nice and okay. tight. Okay. So tug everything nice and tight. I think I did. You did good. But if I this one's like loose, yeah. there, it's right there. Now you're going to continue to lay these over your work, and you're going to go into the next stitch. Not and, the one I was single crocheted into. Right, the next stitch, because now we're going to do a double, double crochet. Right, yarn into. over, do a double crochet. Well, you got to let go of this. <laughs> okay. Okay. And right. make a double crochet. Make a double crochet. And do that two more times. But don't finish the third one because we're going to go back to and another bubble. bubble. Okay. Bubble. Okay. Yeah. So, like, right, repeat. Let's see, double so crochet three in next three. In yeah. between. Three double crochets in between. Okay. And just, just crochet over your tails, crochet over the white. So, okay. And then when you get to the third double crochet, you're going to not finish that stitch. You're going to leave the last two blue loops on the hook, drop the blue yarn, pick up the white yarn, and finish your stitch because now we're going to do another bobble. So the bobble is yarn over, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two, yarn over, into the next stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two, Yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two, continuing to be in your same stitch. And we are going to do this until you pull through two and have six left on your hook. Two, 
two, four, six stitches left on your hook, yarn over, pull through all of them, and then we have to finish it off with a single crochet. So insert your hook, pull up your two loops, and now we're gonna go back to the blue yarn. Back to the blue. To finish your single crochet, you can tighten everything up there. And now we're going to do in the next stitch and carry your yarn through and do three double crochet. One, two, and three. Again, don't finish it. End with your two. And then start your next bobble. Yarn over, carry over your blue tail. And if you have any questions, just continue, you know, rewind and go through this. We're going to um, do the same th three double crochet, bobble, chain, uh, single crochet, three double in the blue, one bobble. Oops, through two. Uh, we're going to continue this until at the end you will have six bobble stitches with a single crochet at the end. Then you'll end your row with three double crochet. Um, so I'm going to pause this and continue. Let's see, you've got my six. Uh, if you have questions, again, like I said, just rewind the video um, because the stitches don't change. And um, I'll catch you back at the at the end of the third of the sixth bobble. I'll come back. Okay, so now here I am. I've just finished my third bobble or my sixth bobble and chain and single crochet. Now I'm going to do back in my blue yarn three double crochets to end the row. Including going into the top of your chain, you know, your original chain three space thing over here. Oh, sure. Just get your hook in there. <laughs> it doesn't want to go in there. It only wants to go in one side. There we go. And make your... Then I'm going to... Uh, oh, shoot. I wanted to crochet over. So I'm going to. I'm going to pull these out and crochet over. Uh, your tail. I crocheted over it. No, I didn't. I totally missed it all the whole time. Okay. So, back up. Crochet over your white tail. Because um, that's just less weeding than you need to do later. So, you do your three double crochets. Come back more to the middle here. And then you're um, I'm still going to cut a long tail on my white so I can weave in, but like it's already started. And count your stitches. You should have 33. Each bobble counts as one and then the chain one. So you should still have 33 stitches. Then I'm going to cut this off, but I'm going to leave a tail on the white. And we're going to chain one. Do your alternative turning chain. So go in, do a double single crochet in the side again, and another single crochet. And then you're going to do one double crochet all the way down. So the bobbles are every other row at this point. And this is the hardest part of this whole blanket is doing these bobble stitches. Um, if you can, you know, get through, get through this with doing the bobbles, uh, everything else is just double crochets and front and back post, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so uh, just make sure that you, you know, have 33 stitches at the end and you will be good to go. And I'll meet you at the end of this row. So remember when you're doing your double crochets, there's two stitches here on the bobble. So make sure you do both stitches or you're going to to be I don't know what you're saying, and something short. be wrong with mine. I can so, already see this. So, we'll see what's wrong, Amanda. So just make sure that you go into 
all or both of the white stitches when you're going across or you're going to run into trouble. Okay. But wait, let me fit, let me get through this part. Yeah, yeah. Because you're almost at the end there. But I should have three. So Amanda is finishing up. Oops. First row. Let's see what's in there. Okay. So she's remembering to crochet under her tail. Over her tail. Over her tail. <laughs> um. All the and way. then I know, okay, so that's my one. Mm -hmm. Into then this. Is my two and then go into this yeah the very top of the year because that would be like your chain three turning chain mm-hmm so right here yeah all right hmm. then if you go through and count because see now that looks well go through and count your stitches and each bobble counts as two because you really can't see the single crochet okay so when i'm counting my stitches i'm i don't even know where's one <laughs> okay um so this is one the very first stitch is one so this right here is one pull it into the screen yeah that's one one two three three count four that five is... six yeah. wait yeah. three four five four five six seven eight 9, 10, right. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. Got it. All right. So now you can either chain three or do your alternate turn chain. Okay. So I'm going to do and the So let's turn. real first cut a long tail on your white. What? And get it out of the way. So you don't have to deal with the white anymore, and we can crochet it in oh, later. thank you, God. <laughs> I don't, it's too confusing. Okay, so now my... That is the hardest part, is doing the bobbles. The rest of the blanket, if you can get the bobbles, the rest of the blanket is a piece of cake. But I think, aesthetically, the bobbles is one of my favorite parts of the blanket. That's my problem. I want them to look really good. They look fabulous. But um, they're pretty much a big pain in the ass. <laughs> Amanda. I mean, but... <laughs> Oops, sorry. Oops. Sorry. Okay. So no. chain one and turn. And then do your and then I'm gonna do the alternate. So I'm gonna single crochet into the first and right. pull through two. Then I'm going to go into that side post and do another single crochet. Mm -hmm. And pull the loop and pull through two. And now you're going to double crochet in every single stitch across. And remember, okay, so when you get to here, wait, let me get to there. Okay. Because I want to just pull the loop, pull through two into this guy, pull up the loop, pull through. I don't like how loose that is. That's all right. I'm, it, I don't like it. But I don't like how any of that is so loose. So I'm going to Okay, I'm going to pause this till you get to the bubble. Okay. So now you're at the bubble. And there's two V's in there, and that's right. what you're saying. Right. So. Make sure you go through two stitches. We counted it as two because you got that single crochet right. in there. So into that first V. Right. You're double gonna... crochet. Right. And then into the second V. I don't right. know if you're yeah, if you're facing. Yeah, I I know it's not facing you, so yeah. I hope it's not upside down for them. No. <laughs> okay. And then pull through two. All right. And then every so and keep every going. stitch across, all the way across. And at the end, again, you should still have 33 stitches. Okay. Okay? Yep. Got it. Okay, I'm going to pause, and we'll pick up at the end of this row. Okay, so now we have uh, our base, you know, beginning double crochet row, our bobble row, and a double crochet row. So now we are at the end. We still have 33 stitches. We're going to do our alternative chain or whatever you like. So that's chain one, turn your work. Single crochet in the first stitch, single crochet in the side of that stitch. Now this row, again, is going to be a bobble stitch row. But we're, this row will have five bobble stitches in it. Um, and if you'll notice, we're working at the back of our work this way. So the bobbles are po poking through the front. That's okay. So uh, this time, 
the bobbles will come in between these and there will only be five bobbles. So we're going to do um, five double crochet, one double crochet in the next five stitches. So you'll have six double crochet before you start the bubble. When you end this, and then you'll do the bobble and the single crochet, bobble, single crochet. When you get to the end of your work, um, you will have five, you'll end with five. So you've got six at the beginning, but you'll end with five single crochet. Um, so single or double? Or double, sorry. Okay, just yeah, sure. Yeah, double, double, all doubles. So you'll do one, two, three, four, five. There'll be six here. We're including your first alternate chain. Yeah. Yes, yeah. there'll be six. Because the numbers work out. But you don't know. pull through the top two, grab your white. One, two, three, four. <laughs> one now you made me lose track where sorry, I am sorry, sorry, one sorry, two sorry. three four five so on the sixth the fifth double crochet plus your alternative you're going to change color so you're not going to finish that stitch pull up your blue with two and let me find the end of my white we're going to change back to the white and then you're going to crochet over your ends again don't forget to do that you don't want to have to weave them in if you don't have to. That's a step we don't want to have to do. Step we don't want to have to do if we don't have to. So you finish the double crochet with the white, and you're going to do your bobble, yarn over, pull through two, um, until you have the six on your. You know you do your pull throughs until you have six on there. You can always tighten up like my first one's a little loose. I'll just tighten it by pulling on there. And two, six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Pull through all six. And we're going to go into our single crochet. Pull up your loop for your single crochet and change back to your blue yarn. And do... Um, Crochet over your white, and we're going to do three double crochet. One, two, and three. You're not going to end your double crochet with blue. You're going to pick up your white yarn and make your next bobble. So now in this row, you'll have five bobbles when you get to the end, and you'll end with five double crochet. The next row, again, is double crochet only with your blue. Then the next row you will do, you'll repeat the first bobble row and have six bobbles. So every other row is bobble row, every other row is double crochet row, but your bobble rows do alternate between five and six bobbles in each row. Um, row 19 is where we're going to, um, row nine, at the end of row 19, you will have 50 bobbles, one bobble representing each star on the flag. Um, so I will meet up with you. At the end of row 19, then we're going to do like a border around the square. Um, and then from that point on, we'll be working in the round. So I'll meet up with you at the end of the bobbles. Okay, so I just want to make sure that it's clear. You do the, the bobbles, and then you have to do the one row of double crochet. Um... around you know to finish the square because it started with a row of double crochet then it'll end with a row of double crochet um and then we'll make the border that goes around the whole thing okay meet you at the end okay so now that we have our 19 rows 50 bobbles and we ended on a double crochet uh, solid double crochet row we're going to turn this we won't be working row to row anymore. We're going to be going round and round. Um, 
so what we're going to do is uh, do an alternative single crochet. I mean, an alternative, you know, what the heck. So we chain one and turn. Chain one and turn. Chain one, turn. And we're going to do our, you know, if you chain three and do it, or if you're going to do the alternative uh, stitch. Yeah, alter alternative turning chain, turning stitch, or whatever you want to call it. We're going to do one. Then we're going to do one double crochet in every stitch all the way across um, until we get to the end. Then we have to make a corner because we're going to be going round and round. So we know how to double crochet. So we're just going to do one double crochet in every single stitch all the way across. And from this point on, well, we have to do the double crochets down the side, which might be a little bit of a challenge. Um, there's 19 rows, and we're going to end up with 35 stitches in each row. So I'm going to have to space those out. It's a little bit of a challenge to well, do that. 35 down the side of 19 rows. Right. Okay. So this part... Is the easy part. It's the 35 down 19 rows that newbies like me are going to have a hard time with. Oh, I have a hard time with it too. You have to space it. Um, I find um, that it's easier for me if I'm counting my stitches as I go so I can see how much space I have left. Mm. So if you have like 20 inches still and only three more stitches, you made a mistake. Yeah. Got it. Um, okay. Chloe, will you go shut my refrigerator door? Sorry about that. Refrigerator's beeping. Oh, that was my bad. That's okay. Thank you, Chloe. So, um, so we'll have 19 rows to do 35 stitches, so it's not quite one, like two stitches per row down. You know what um, I mean? Right. So every now and again, you have to. All right. So did you make it all the way down your row yet? Not yet. I'm like almost. Halfway. <laughs> I'm almost there. And the corner is going to be, I'm almost to the corner. I just practice this while we were, while I was waiting for Amanda to catch up and I'm like wait I read my pattern and I'm like this is wrong <laughs> so anyway what we're gonna do okay here's our final double crochet so we should have right now 33 double crochets we're gonna end up with 35 double crochet on each side so we're gonna do another double crochet in that end because we need one for the side because we're going to start growing our, our blanket's going to grow now. So that's going to add one stitch to the width. And we're going to chain two because we need space to go around the corner. And then we're going to put another double crochet in that same stitch. So just like when you do a granny square and you get your chain two at your corner. Oh, let's get you more in the center here. So we finished with 33. This one will be 34. When we come back around to this corner, we will add one more in here as well to make 35 across this. So right now we'll have 34 on this row. We're going to add 34 more stitches on the side, including in this last stitch down here, we have to do our turning chain. So it'll be one in there chain two, and then start on this all at the same area. So before you keep going, okay, so I know I have Okay, to do... I'm going to bring the camera over to you. Okay. So look what I made so far, you guys. Yay! Yay! Didn't you do good? I did it. First of all, I'm really proud of it. It looks way better than I thought it was going to. <laughs> okay, so I did all the way down. I did my alternative the... thing. I went all the way down with my double crochets. Correct. And now I'm here, so I think I have to go into this. You said go into the end. 
right? So this would be my end. So I'm going to double crochet into here. That's your 30, um, third stitch. I don't know. You didn't count them? No, I didn't count them. Hold on <laughs> because I think I have it anyways. So I double crocheted into the end. I heard you say that. And right. then I chain yep. two. Okay. So that's your 33rd stitch. We went 34 right now. So, so then I double crochet into the same end again. Into the same stitch. Should I count first? Nah. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to have to frog it if I'm wrong anyways. So now 34. Now chain two. Now chain two. Because, yeah, you can see that that looks. All right. One, two. And now you're going to turn to turn do this. to do that side of your work. Oh, the hard side. The hard side, right. And you're going to go right back into that same stitch. Same corner. To make all right way down here. Is it on camera? Yeah, it's on so, camera. Okay, so way back into that same exact one. The same exact one. And double crochet again. Right. And now, so this is my first one on this row, or right? right. Okay. It's your first. So when you get all the way down to here, and then you're gonna like make sure that you have. You, I need to have thirty-five when I get down there. Right. So you're gonna do thirty-three more here plus one more extra on your chain to give you for the corner. Okay. Because the corners are going to be double crochet, chain two, double crochet. So you're going to need your 33 in the middle. So your corner peak chain corner one. here. This is and one. And then 33 more. Then double crochet into the same stitch, chain two, double crochet into the same stitch. Right, at the corner around. to make the corner. Yeah, all right, got okay. it, got it, got it, got it. So now this is this is where it gets dicey because these are not... Right, you don't know exactly where you're going to need to go. So what you need to do is realize that you're almost doing two in every... So somewhere I'm going to skip a couple. How many? Well, well you know, so. you can actually do math and figure it out, like one and yeah. three quarters or something. But Yeah, because my stitches aren't as nice as your stitches even on the side. Well, you I've been crocheting see. longer. So just, you know, so this this one isn't really counting because you still have to do 33 to match our sides, right? This is just your corner. I don't know corner. what you're saying. Okay. So, oh, I see. Because this isn't a stitch. This is the corner. So it's here. Right. Well, that this one is your that corner. Same corner. Right. So that's your corner. So then you need 33 more to go down here plus your other corner one. All right. So. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess here we go. We're just figuring it out. <laughs> right. And that is the thing about doing the the funky side is that so you... that's one. How many? Six, six, <laughs> two. Right, you just have to space them out, um, count them as you go. And if you do one and you see, oh gosh, that's way too far apart, you know, you can frog it. And I know you hate that word, but you can frog it because the bottom line is you just want them to be kind of evenly spaced and make sure that you have enough to go all the way around. Mm -hmm. um, and once you've done that, and don't forget to do your, you know, corners correctly. Um, then we'll be done with the blue section. And part, part one of the tutorial will be complete. So if, you know, during any parts of the tutorial, if there's anything that you like already know how to do it and you don't want to watch this, that's fine. Pass, fast forward to the next part. If there's anything that you have had questions on, um, you know, obviously you can just rewind. That's the beauty wonder of and beauty of tutorials. Okay, so I am going to meet you at the corner. Meet 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 you at the corner because you know I might have to frog too. <laughs> we'll have to see how that goes. Okay, so I'm at 33 stitches, and this is my first stitch in the other, you know, on this side. So I'm going to put 34 right here, and then I'm going to put 35 here, because that's my first stitch on the other side, so we're going to make that the corner, and then I'm going to chain two, and I'm going to come back around here. So that would be the other stitch of my corner. Then I'm going to go back into that same spot to make up for that stitch to make number like 
one or two out of the 35 that I'm going to need to go across this. And when I get to here, same thing. Um, so just make it work so that you have 35 across, you know, including your corner one. You're going to go corner to corner. It's going to be 35 and then your chain two in the middle. And that will suffice to make it, um, to make the right number even stitches across so you can start the next round, which will be starting to start with the stripes. This is pretty much the stars. And after this, we'll start the stripes. Um, <coughs> and no more bobbles if you were having, and no more color changing in the middle. It'll be one solid color. Um, so the rest of it gets a little bit, a little bit simpler. Um, and none of the rest of, like the hardest part so far, I'm sure was, the color changing on the bobbles back and forth um, so if you could do that the rest of this will be a breeze and you'll finish it in a night <laughs> maybe <laughs> I'll meet you back at the end okay so now this is stitch number 34 so number 35 to make my corner right in the same spot double crochet chain two come down the next side and finish my corner and honestly to be honest we probably did not have to turn our work and be working on the back side and from this point on when we will be changing color and we're going to work on the front side from this point on after this I don't think we turn our I don't think we have to turn our work anymore um so now we're here and we need 35 stitches back down to you know total including corner but we have to add a stitch down here let's not forget so um, I'll meet you at the end of this corner for the final stitches of the blue okay so I am that was 34 and I'm on the final corner so I'm going to go with 35 stitches right here all the way down including my Two. Now that's the first one of the corner stitch would be 35 of the row stitch. And then I'm going to chain two. And now we're back to our first side, but it only has 34 stitches in it from this end to this end because we didn't, we have to add our corner stitch. So I'm going to do one more double crochet in there in that same spot. And then we're going to slip stitch to the top of the uh, original turning chain. So then you can slip stitch. Then I found this really cool trick. Um, I can't remember, just was watching some videos the other day. Instead of, if you just uh, do a couple of slip stitches along the edge like this, then it pretty much weaves your ends in for you. Um, Little John's lady said that. Uh, I was watching one of her tutorials. Um, so if you just do that, then you can just cut your yarn. Because uh, we're not going to be using the blue anymore after this. The blue is done. So she says you can just do that, cut your yarn, and your end is weaved in. I'm going to leave this to crochet over because I feel safer that way. But pretty awesome little trick. I just learned that. So that's what we're going to do, and when we pick up with the next video, um, we're going to go with the red granny stitch. Uh, granny stitch is in red. Um, Amanda's still finishing up on her last ends. I'm, uh, and unless she has any questions, we're going to be done with this uh, part of the video. I'm probably going to have questions when we get to the end. Okay, so I'm I will. I'm still doing my border on my original chain side which is a little tight I made my chains really tight so now I'm having here let's see oh, oh sorry so I'm again working on the back side yeah it would be it would be but I feel like we shouldn't it would have been easier if we were working on the front side and we won't turn our work over again we'll just well, always work on the front I, side from now on that part I don't I actually doesn't it doesn't matter to me but like see how it's when I was original, see how it's like it's like that? Is it supposed to be? Um, 
uh, let's see. It's, see how it looks like a tower? <laughs> They're built on top of each other. Is that yeah? yeah cause that's, instead of because when I was yeah, I see, originally does, is that what mine looks like? I you you crochet so tight, but I don't see where you have two. Like mine looks like a tower. I don't see yours looking like a tower. But when I, I was going in between, fine. yeah, don't go it in was, between. No, not right. in between. Okay, so I'm going through the top V. Right, you got to go through the V at the top. Yeah. Okay, so so yours looks like mine. Okay. And when you turn it over, it's going to be beautiful. Okay. See? Beautiful. It is beautiful. You're, you you is... crochet tighter than me, I think, is what the thing is. Well, I've had more experience at it, and I crochet faster than you. By a lot. And the faster that I crochet, the tighter my crochet is. Um, um, I have learned that about myself. The faster I work, the tighter my crochet gets. And that'll happen with you, too, because it'll be more muscle memory than... Like actual concentration on your stitch. It'll yeah. just be that your hands do it. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm not. I don't have to say to myself anymore, yarn over, pull up a loop. You know, like. Right. I don't have to say say that to my brain anymore. Like I had to talk myself through every single stitch, well, sure. repeated a million times. Um. But I still think that I'm crocheting way looser than you. And maybe you always will. Some people crochet tighter, some people crochet looser. It's just the way that it is. That's why when you're making like garments, things that have to be to a certain size, mm -hmm. they always tell you to swatch your work first because everybody crochets it, you know, your own. Well, there's something messed up here. I'm just going to go with it and see what happens. <laughs> I hate that when you find your mistakes. You know, it looks fine, but then you look at it and you're like, you get this close to it. The dog is freaking out right now. She wants to go outside or her water dish is empty. Okay, well, she needs to wait because I can't. <laughs> so, Lacey, I'm in the middle of crocheting. How can I t possibly feed it's not, you? It's not your job. <laughs> it's my job. Well, she's bothering me. <laughs> yeah, her water dish is empty. She doesn't like it. Okay. So well, you can talk or you can, or I'll pause. What do you want me to do? Pause, please. Okay, I'm going to pause it till you get to the end. No, okay, I'm recording. So I think so. I went and did 35 as you can see this is 35 down this row chained the corner and went right back into that corner so I'm trying the slip stitch a bunch of times it's making a little thick I don't like that actually I don't like that the top of this is a little thicker so I'm gonna stop because I mean whatever right. and just cut it right right you cut. Well, cut it I would cut it because we're just gonna the next row we're just gonna crochet over this little tail for a little bit. But don't I have to pull through the loop and make like a knot? We don't have to do that because we did this. Okay, That's so why where do I cut it? So that you don't have to use the darning needle. Oh, so, yay, nice. Cut right here? Yep. <laughs> I'm loving that then. Right, so. Oh, and then we'll just crochet over. Right, because this right. works as your weave in mm -hmm. where you did your slip sure. stitches and then when we're crocheting, we'll just crochet over that little bit. And of the since tail. I went into it, it's not adding any more stitches or taking away on this. Right, it's Got just it. a top. Yeah. Slip stitch. So it's right over Perfect. top. And that's that. And there we have it. It's a little it's perfect. Windy. Wonky. It's like see. we're gonna yeah. zoom out. Oh, it's great. But like if you look, it's like way feeling longer. <laughs> it's perfect, Amanda. I mean it's gonna be fine. But... There's nothing wrong with it. Yay! Here we are. We we've got it. Okay. Our stars for our star spangled. Or bobbled spangled in our case. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. All right. I don't know when we'll have the next part of the video out. Um, as soon as we can. Yeah. We'll and start the grannies, which I've never done a grannies. So looking forward to that. All right. In a couple days, hopefully. All right. So. See you next video.